carve out some time to spend with your chosen family, your friends, and host a little Friendsgiving. But since this is Thanksgiving part two, why not put a global spin on some of our favorites? First, I'm gonna show you an easy way to repurpose some of those Thanksgiving leftovers. This is such a fun recipe and it is so easy to make. These are turkey and stuffing wonton with a cranberry dipping sauce. So I'm gonna start out by making the cranberry dipping sauce. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of pancake syrup. And then to this, I'm gonna add brown sugar and I'm gonna add some cranberry sauce. Of course, if you've got leftover, use that. If you've got a can, you can go ahead and use this too. And that looks like the most beautiful sauce. Perfect. That's ready to go. And now I'm gonna start on the filling, which is just four ingredients, super easy. So I'm just gonna start out and put our shredded turkey into a bowl. And then I've got some soft cream cheese here, some leftover stuffing. And then I'm gonna mix this together, add some green onions, and I'm gonna leave some so we can garnish it on top so your wontons look lovely. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to fill our wontons. So this is a little tip. Whenever you're working with wonton papers like this, just wanna wet a paper towel and put it right on top so they stay nice and moist and pliable. Fill each wonton with a nice level tablespoon of the filling. And then you just wet your finger and you're just gonna run it along the sides of your wonton paper so it gets nice and sticky. And then literally all you do is fold it right over and press it down. You know how much turkey you have left over for days and days and this is such a fun way to reuse it. And now it's time to fry up our wontons. I've got some vegetable oil here. Put about two to three inches of vegetable oil in the bottom of this pot. You wanna make sure that you've got enough oil so that the wontons are submerged in there. Get this nice and warm to about 375 degrees. If you have a wooden spoon, you can put it in there and it should have some fine bubbles around the spoon. That means that it's hot enough to start frying. Now they're totally cooked inside because we're using our leftovers. So all you wanna do is get that wonton paper nice and crispy and golden brown. And make sure to have some paper towel down to soak up any oil that may still be on the outside of the wontons. I love rectangular platters because they allow you to kind of line up the food. It makes it really clean and beautiful and white is always classic. And then I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of my green onions on top. I love adding a little garnish to just about anything. And there we've got our cranberry dipping sauce and our turkey and stuffing wontons. I mean, how delicious does that look? Let's set the table. And since this is a Friendsgiving, I'm gonna go with a much more casual vibe. I'm using craft paper because it's a nice blank canvas that I can jazz up from there. I'm adding this paper runner to the table. It adds such a cool pattern. And the best part is, if it doesn't get wrecked during dinner, you can use it to wrap presents after. To brighten up the table, I made a flower arrangement from the Just Because bouquets. You may remember these from my Apple's Three Ways episode. They're gonna create the perfect ambiance. Korean pulled pork stuffed sweet potatoes are loaded with flavor. From a delicious Korean barbecue sauce to shelled edamame to kimchi mayo. These pumpkin churros might be my favorite. Crispy on the outside, warm and soft on the inside. And when you dip them in chocolate sauce, they're out of this world. This turkey cranberry pad thai salad recipe is full of veggies because you gotta sneak in some good nutrition during Friendsgiving. Creamed corn is a Thanksgiving staple in many households and this chili jalapeno creamed corn gives new life to a classic recipe. This curried pumpkin soup is full of warm Indian spices that'll make you glow from the inside out. And finally, to drink, I'm serving cranberry sauce mojitos. Most of these recipes are in Hy-Vee Seasons magazine and the best part is they each have their own international twist which will give your Friendsgiving a whole new vibe. 
It's always a good idea to step back and admire your handiwork. I'm just so happy with how this turned out. It's festive, it's fun, and it's perfect for my Friendsgiving. For more of my holiday how-tos, tune into hstv.com, and happy Friendsgiving.